Pink was going to do good. So now I'm worried about the no, it's one, well, actually three. I'm going to do these three, these ones, and these ones. So we're actually going to do three. Good morning besties, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa. I am the owner of a small business called Seasons Best by Risa. If you're new here, welcome. And if not, welcome back. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm looking extra, extra crazy today. Do not mind my hair. Actually, I'm getting my hair done today at 2. Um, it is 10 a.m. now, so I have four hours to film and make everything I have to make. So that's why I look like this. And I don't know if I told you guys, but uh, today's what, Saturday? I don't know the date, but today's Saturday. And on Tuesday, my company is flying me out to corporate so that i can meet my team and everything so that's what i'm gonna be doing so that's why i'm getting my hair done because it's like i come on the internet looking crazy but i can't go to corporate looking crazy right right <laughs> so long story short this is gonna be a short vlog um i only have two orders you guys orders are slowing down full transparency it is getting a little bit warm getting towards spring so you know it's expected that sweatshirts aren't going to be selling as fast so that's cool that's expected so what's next for me bless you papa uh what's next for me is for me to try to see what other designs i could come up with that could sell so i do have some ideas and i have some things over here some transfers and everything that i got to test out so we're gonna test that out today and yeah it's gonna be a pretty short vlog yeah <laughs> so these are the two orders that i have you know my god save me and light pink and hot pink i just love these colors you guys these are so cute oh yeah you guys uh put that over here so this is something that i do want to test out as well you guys so the company pyd live sent me some of their sublimation blanks for their cutting boards and we're gonna be trying testing them out to see how well they sublimate so these are some of the designs that i have hold on so these are two and then these ones and these ones so we're actually gonna do three today we're gonna see how those come out so i definitely want to give those a test and then i also have so these are some of the designs that i'm thinking about using this spring that's so cute this is like my, one of my favorite and i really like this one as well but it's so small and i did the sizing but i don't know i thought it would be bigger but we're gonna work with what we have because i'm not ordering another dtf just because i want the size bigger that no mm -mm. I don't know how I feel about these two. Um, I think this is really good for spring. Do I love it? I don't think I do. I don't know. I think it will look good on like a green shirt, green comfort color shirt, um, maybe yellow, maybe. Um, so that's, uh, you know. And then I have this one again. I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm going to actually put that one on a purple comfort colors. So that's what that's going to be. This is going to be on the purple. Like this. And then these two are going to be on white. And then I'm also... So in my last vlog, you guys saw that I tested out puff prints. And I finally got the temperature right. So these are the colors that I'm going to do this spring. This lilac and this light pink. And I'm going to do them on the Comfort Colors t-shirt as well. And yeah, it's going to be my God Save Me design because I'm like, why not come back out with them in spring colors? Like, why not? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see how they do in spring colors. And I think they're going to be super cute because who doesn't love a good puff? So yeah, you guys, that's what we have in store for today. Very short vlog. Um, just so you guys can see the behind the scenes of how I kind of test out my designs and see what designs i'm gonna do and yeah i'm gonna take you guys along <laughs> i'll see you guys if you hear my son in the background he is up i couldn't wait for him to go to sleep today because like i said i only have two hours to record so so sorry but his baby sounds will be making an appearance every now and then 
But yeah, you guys, so before I can get to pressing anything, I do have to weed these designs out. So I'm going to go ahead and get them weeded out. And then we're going to get to pressing. It's crazy because that's literally all I have to do today. Press some designs and see how they come out. And I haven't like had a blog like this in a minute where all I had to do was press, I think. But yeah, let's let's get started. I hope these come out good because I literally only have one test shirt for each of them and I'm hoping to be able to use them to take my product photos so if they don't come out good I'm gonna have to get other shirts and I don't have any other shirts but yeah you guys but I did thoroughly test the temperatures as you guys saw in last week's vlog so Hopefully it comes out how it came, it came out last week. That's what I'm hoping. I will say though, colored puff vinyl, they do make a difference. And I'm telling you, the blue puff vinyl that I had last week and this puff vinyl puffed up so amazingly, it gave me no issues. But this lilac, hold on y'all. This lilac right here, oh my gosh, it, it was such a headache. It just would not puff up correctly. Luckily, it wasn't wrinkling, but it just wouldn't fully puff up. It still looked really good, but I just wanted it to puff up a little bit more, and it was not doing that last week. And it was the same temperature, same pressure, everything was the same, but the purple and the pink puffed up beautifully, but the lilac, was it just was not doing it. So, I am, fingers crossed that it comes out good this week because I really want to do lilac. The blue is good too, but it's like, I really prefer the lilac. It's just so beautiful and it's just so pretty. I don't know. Especially the comfort colors lilac. So, yeah, I'm going to give this a try first. And honestly, if it's just not working, I might just do the blue because sometimes, you know, when you have a business, you just have to pivot and go with the punches, roll with the punches. So if the lilac isn't coming out good right now, I might need to just, you know, go back to the drawing board and maybe just do blue for now and see if I can maybe work with the lilac a little bit more and try to work on getting it to the right level of puffiness that I want. And then, you know, come back later on this spring, summer, or maybe, you know, next spring, who knows. I'm actually gonna do the ones that um, we're gonna do it from lowest heat to highest heat so we're gonna do puff first then we're gonna do vinyl in DTF and lastly we're doing sublimation so yeah you guys let's get started okay you guys so my heat press has warmed up to 270 for 15 seconds and I'm gonna go ahead and press the puff vinyl and see how they come out <laughs> this pink y'all oh my god yes <laughs> okay y'all yes this is what i'm talking about <laughs> oh my gosh you guys this came out so nice who are you talking to yes come on spring come on spring who y'all i already knew the pink was gonna do good so now i'm worried about the, the lilac y'all if the lilac does good we're in business we are in full business you guys so let's let's see You guys, what 
what are you talking about, y'all? Do y'all see this? What are you talking about? No. <laughs> Okay, hey guys, so this is how they look. You guys, I'm so happy. The pink, y'all, the pink came out perfect. And I'm going to show you guys. Look at the lilac. Do you see the bubbles in here? But guess what, you guys? It's not lifting. The lilac is just finicky. But I like the fact that it has the bubbles in there a little bit because this is going to be my product photo t-shirt. So when I take the photos, customers are gonna be able to see that it's not gonna be 100% smooth, right? It's gonna have a little bit of bubbling to it, just a little bit, but it won't lift. You can see I can't, it's not lifting. It's not gonna lift, but they will be able to see that it will have the little bubbling to it. So it's gonna be, so just in case, you know, I can't get the lilac perfect like this pink. They'll know that this is, it's not going to be perfect. This is how the product photo looks. So this is how they should expect the shirt to look. And I still look at, I, I still think it looks really, really good. You guys really good. Like you can see that the imprint of the shirt, they say, you know, it's stuck to the shirt when you can see like the design through it. So this is the only part that's messed up, but at least it'll show in the product photo so customers will know what to expect but yeah it's so cute <laughs> okay y'all i'm happy i'm gonna go ahead like everything else is easy the only thing i'm also worried about maybe is the sublimation but that's like i have multiple of those i'm only doing three and i have 12 so if i mess up i could do others so yeah you guys the hard part is done so I'm going to go ahead and press my God Save Me now on 300 and then DTF and then Sublimation since I need to press that on the highest setting possible. Okay, you guys, so I actually went ahead and did these off camera just because, as I always say, you guys have seen me do them 50 bajillion times. So those are that. So we're going to actually go ahead and do the DTF now. And I'm thinking I'm going to do these two this one well actually three i'm gonna do these three i still feel like this might look better on a green or a yellow let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all think below it could i do think it would look good on this shirt that i have too this pink shirt right here i think that would look really nice Ooh, ooh! wait a minute wait a minute now this will look real good okay that's that's talking about something okay okay yeah, I think that might be the color, you guys. Okay, that might be it. I don't have an extra one of that color, so I would probably have to test it out when I order more for the God Save Me t-shirt. But I think that might be that. So I'm going to save that one. And we're going to do these three. And then we're going to sublimate once we're done. All right. Oh my gosh you guys i literally forgot how much i love dtf look at these you guys these came out so not y'all y'all this spring collection is giving what it was supposed to give you guys like what are you talking about like and let's not forget god is good all the time all the time god is good <laughs> Y'all, I forgot just how much I love DTF. And when I tell you guys, I ordered these from Perfect Press. If you watched my last vlog, you guys would know that I went there. It's a DTF and vinyl vendor about 25, 30 minutes away from me. 
I ordered it and I think I ordered it like early morning. They shipped it out that afternoon and I got it the next day. The next day, you guys, like whoa, DTF baby. Like I'm a, I'm gonna be doing DTF all the time now, you guys. These are beautiful. I cannot wait to take product photos with these. These are amazing. I can't wait to post them on my site as well. These are really good additions to my website, like, and to my store. I'm just, I'm just in love, especially with the God Save Me. Like, you're going to be a staple. You're going to be a staple. Like, I can already see, I'm going to, I'm about to be doing all colors, you guys. All colors, like blue, blue, green. What else? What else we got? Whatever other colors y'all want to see, I'm going to do it. We might even do a black. Do y'all want a black? We might do a black for the men, you know. It might be coming. <laughs> but all right, you guys. So, the last thing we're going to sublimate are these. And I'm going to go ahead and cut these out. And then I'm going to tape them up so that I can get them sublimated. All right, you guys. You guys, I'm so excited to be trying these. Like, I've never done anything like these before. So, I'm excited to see how they come out. Hopefully, they come out good. I saw some other TikTokers or casters on TikTok do them. And they came out really nice. So... My only thing is I don't know how to tape it up. I saw somebody tape it up like like by folding it over, but I don't know that I left enough space for that. And if I was going to do that, I probably should have did um two on one like this. I had did this sheet, but the other sheets they were three on three on one sheets. So the other sheets I might have to cut them up individually. Even this one, I might have to cut them up individually instead. Let's see. I think it's supposed to be like this. Okay. And then... Yeah, no. I'm going to actually cut them up individually and tape them on there. Because I want it super exact. So, yeah. If I fold it over, there's like... I'm risking it like moving. And no. We're going to try to do this as best as we can. I think I have one more hour and then your girl is gonna have to stop so I'm hoping I can get these sublimated by then which I should right I think the longest part of this is gonna be taping them up but all right y'all let's let's get to it <laughs> put the butcher paper on top of it so that I don't have any bleeding all right and it's kind of a weight it's like one it's two minutes 120 seconds so it's not a quick process but I'm excited to see the end results so let's go and then I'm gonna have to flip it as well after the 120 so it's actually four minutes on for each four minutes for each all right you guys so i just did both sides you guys i am not gonna lie to you i think this is the most fun i've had since i started my whole business y'all look at these y'all uh-uh now uh-uh now can you believe this 
I just made this. This is crazy. Look how cute. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, y'all. This is too cute. Like, I wish it was Christmas time because when I'm telling you, everybody will be getting one of these for Christmas. Yep, everybody will be getting these as a stocking stuffer, something, Christmas, something. You guys, they're so cute. <laughs> you guys, I am in love. And I did not do it for 60 seconds because I did them on each side for 120 seconds just because um, I thought it was being burnt. But let me see if you can see. So you see right here. Oh, focus. It's not focusing, you guys. Let's see. Okay, so in here, it looked like it was being burnt. But when I looked at the other boards that weren't sublimated yet, they all looked the same. So I didn't want to chance messing it up. So I did all of them for the full 120 seconds on each side. And I used 360 degrees. PYD Live says to use 357. I just like to round up and use round numbers. So I did 360. But you guys these are look they're so nice you guys i don't know if anybody if anyone if y'all can tell or maybe somebody spotted it though you guys see how i taped it why did none of y'all tell me not to tape it like that huh y'all should have tell told me not to tape it. No, i'm kidding you guys y'all look the tape i i didn't even think look at it you can see the tape mark i was like i i wasn't thinking you guys at all now i gotta figure out how to do it without taping it like that but i already know how i'm gonna do it next time i sublimate it i'm gonna have to put like one in the front one in the back and hold it together and then try to tape them on top of each other so that none of the tape is on the board so if any of you guys decide that you want to try these out in my opinion that's the best way to do it so you try to put them together get them um nice and cut like how i had get it as exact as you can and then put them on the board and if you could hold them like this and then try to tape them together that way so that none of the tape is on the board that would be the best way that you guys could go about sublimating this but honestly you guys if i didn't know that i had tape there like I wouldn't really know that it was taped there you know it just it just looks so good oh my gosh y'all your girl does not cook but if i ever do cook let me stop <laughs> i do cook you guys sometimes sometimes but these are too cute these are definitely gonna be going in my kitchen and i will most definitely be using them and i'm keeping these mistakes and all because it shows that these are my first sublimated cutting boards ever and of course with any new process you're gonna make mistakes that's how we learn by making mistakes and then fixing them so if you guys do decide that you guys want to try these out that is the way um in my opinion that you could sublimate these without taping the board and then getting the board all messed up so yeah you guys that is everything that i have for this vlog so that all took a little over two hours not bad at all you guys not bad at all so i did all my designs and yeah i just need to find some time to take product photos and everything and yeah oh i did want to mention that a subscriber had asked me how to add products to their tiktok shop i did like a tiktok video a while ago and i didn't go in depth on adding like a product to your tiktok store or your tiktok shop so a subscriber had asked me to do a video on that and i actually filmed it two weeks ago but that vlog would have been way too long if i included the clip so i'm actually gonna put it in here for her so the next clips are gonna be me showing her or showing you guys how to add a product to your tiktok shop so if you guys do want to watch that you can stay tuned and if not i don't have anything else um in this vlog it's just gonna be that tutorial and yeah so that's gonna be the next clip so roll next clip <laughs> okay guys so i am in my tiktok shop account and i'm just gonna do a um add a product i'm gonna pretend like i'm adding one for real so let's go we're gonna just um let's just say we're adding a i don't know it's easter so let's do easter bunny shirt <laughs> whoops let's go again y'all i can't type 
I apologize. So we'll do the product name right here, Easter Bunny T-shirt, okay? So you always have to select your category. Y'all, please, please, please make sure you choose the right categories. TikTok is known for giving you points or strikes if you choose the wrong category. So make sure you choose the right one. So this one is going to be women's wear. It's already right here. It's women's tops. It's going to be T-shirts. Okay, now that that is loaded, we're going to go down and we're going to do brand authorization. Y'all, I honestly am not sure what this is, but I know that I've heard that if you put the wrong brand authorization in here, TikTok shop can also like shut down your account or give you violations. So since I don't know what that is, that means I don't have any brand authorization. So I always go in and put no brand. You can scroll down to the bottom. Usually when I type it in, it'll, there we go. So it says no brand. So I select that and I'll just leave it at that. And then I try to go in and add as much product attributes as possible. I feel like this helps to push like, my products in front of more people. That's just how I feel. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but you know, it's been working for me. So that's what I do. So let's go in and I just fill in whatever I can. Um, sometimes I get lazy and I won't fill in a lot, but I'll try to fill in at least six to eight. So right here it says um, sleeve length, short sleeve, cause it's a t-shirt, occasion, I will do casual fit, depending on the fit. Um, this one is loose fitting. We're gonna go with that and quantity per pack. It's gonna be one clothing length. Let's just say medium, hmm, a style. Um, it's going to be an Easter t-shirt, so let's go with preppy, I don't know. And there you go, you have six. Again, you could add more if you have any care instructions, like if you're doing vinyl and you know they can't, um, no dry clean, I believe you can, so just put no dry clean. And I feel like the more you fill out, the better. I think TikTok actually likes that and it pushes your product in front of more people. So yeah, I would do as much as I can and yeah so then i will go down and scroll and it tells you right here to do a minimum of at least five images i usually try to have five images again <laughs> sometimes i'm lazy and i don't get the five images mark but if you can um i would suggest going for at least five images so let's just go in here this is my folder that i keep this is my logos folder so let's go to product displays and Let's just pretend we're gonna do this one, right? Okay, we have five photos here, so I'm gonna add all five. Okay, y'all, so it's finished loading now. So also I wanted to let you guys know, a uh, while ago TikTok announced that they wanted your um main image of your products to have a white background a lot of people on tiktok they still don't like have white backgrounds but for me i am terrified that tiktok is gonna just sh shut my store down so i try to follow the rules as much as i can so if they say white background for the main image and that's what i usually do so easy way to do that is when you go here you're gonna do ai optimize and it's really cool because TikTok does it for you. So it's like you really don't have any excuse unless you just, you know, don't want to follow the rules. But TikTok really does it for you. So once you're here, it's going to say AI optimize. You click on that. And it, right here, as you can see, it's removing the background. This might take a few minutes, few seconds, I will say. Never a few minutes, few seconds. Okay, guys, so this is what they came up with. Usually they're a bit more accurate, but this is totally fine. They didn't mess with like my image or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do use, and it's going to process it. So as you can see over here, they cleaned it up quite a bit. That little red canopy thing, jig is not in these. So I don't know why, you guys. I usually choose this one. I just gravitate more to this one, and they're all... They're typically all the same, so I don't know. I guess maybe there's a little bit of color in the background on these two, but these two are typically the same. So I'm just going to choose that, and then I'm going to go ahead and do apply. And this is what it looks like. Now, if you want to zoom in more your design, you can just zoom in and um, move it around. 
So just like that, if you want to zoom out, just zoom out, zoom in, pretty much self-explanatory. So this is what I mean when I say like TikTok makes it easy for you guys. So I would honestly just follow the rules as best as I can and that way you won't risk your shop getting shut down. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and do done and it's going to upload it and then you're going to have the first image with a, a white background. Now that that is done, we're going to go all the way down. So it's going to ask you to do a size chart. I don't typically use the size chart tool because I'm not sure what this is. I guess it says select a chart template. I don't have one of those. All of my shirts that I use, I create like my own sizing charts and I just have them on my desktop. Uh -huh. I need to charge my, my laptop, you guys. But yeah, I just have them on my desktop. So typically upload an image, I'll go here. I'm just gonna show you the process really quickly before my phone dies. So go over here and then I keep them under my logos and my miscellaneous. And then for example, this. So this is one of my charts. So I'll just go ahead and upload that. It's not a required, but like I said, I like to fill out as much as I can so that I can get my product pushed to the more, to most people. Also, I usually add a video. If I have like, if I've made the item before, if I've made like one to take product picture, product photos, I usually take like a short, a short video because I know I want to add one to TikTok shop. And again, I think that helps. So I do that. Um, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. So we're going to come down here and this is required product description. So I always, always, always use the AI generator, you guys. And that is simply because I'm lazy. <laughs> Y'all, I feel like AI is the future, and as a person in tech, I feel like we need to embrace it, and so I'm embracing it, so I always use the AI generator. So typically, depending on what it is, I'll put like a couple key words as it states. So let's just say um, Easter Hearts t-shirt and y'all i know i put t-shirt up above and then i chose a sweatshirt y'all i know that we're just this is a dummy account i'm just i'm just showing you the walkthrough so we're gonna pretend that the images i used was of a t-shirt okay so we're gonna do easter hearts t-shirt and then i'll do generate and then it's gonna take a minute to think and then this is all of the information that you've entered so far it's taking all of that and it's creating a description and you know it's making it seem a little bit nicer so if I like it, uh, I'll do keep. If not, you do try again. So we're going to go ahead and do keep. Now, it's supposed to be more 500 words or more. So let's try something else. We're going to try again. So we just click back on here. And let's do Easter hearts t-shirts for the Easter celebration. And moms, I don't know. Let's just go with that and see what happens. It's gonna degenerate. Okay, this is already looking a lot better. We gave it more and it's looking a lot better. So we are gonna do keep and there you go. So the word count was increased and I think it added it on to this. So if you wanna remove this, you can. I would read through it. Make sure you read through all of your descriptions before you just upload it. But as you can see, we have a green check mark cause it's over 500 words. So that is cool. So we're gonna go down and right here, I'm gonna do enable variations because we wanna have different colors, right? So we're gonna enable variations. So right here, we're gonna choose size. Let's just do, I'm sorry, we're gonna choose color, I'm sorry. So we're gonna say we have two color, right? So the first one's gonna be ash and always upload an image. So you're gonna go back here and then I'm gonna go back to my little folder, product displays. And I think it was in here and then choose a photo that depicts that color. Okay, that's ash, cool. And then we're gonna do light pink. I'm gonna select one. And then just select one like that. All right, once you're done with that, you hit done. Next, okay, I have two colors, but I have four sizes, so I still have to add another variation, right? So I need to add a size. So we're gonna go small, medium, large, 
and we're gonna do extra large and again if you want to have more sizes you can just keep adding but we're gonna stop right here and do done and then here you have your variation list you guys so this is where we're gonna do pricing and quantity on hand so I like to do batch edits but if you have like bigger sizes like uh, 2x 3x large and you guys have higher prices for those those ones you just enter those prices separately but all of my prices are gonna be the same so I'm gonna enter the price for all of them let's just say $20 and let's just say I have five of each on hand and once I do that I just hit apply and it auto populated for all of my variations all right and then that's that okay y'all so now that variations are taken care of we're gonna move on to shipping so pretty much you're just gonna fill this out um i always recommend having a scale especially if you have like different size items or items that would be obvious it will be obvious that it weighs differently like if you have if you sell stickers and sweatshirts you're gonna want to know the, the weight of those items separately right so i already know that my sweatshirts are around 12 ounces so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change this from pound and I'm gonna do ounces, and then I'm just gonna do 12, just like that. Then again, same thing with your product dimensions. You wanna know, make sure you know the size of your product dimensions based on how you fold them, packaging, and such. So again, I already know my height is gonna be one, and my width, I normally put 14, and my length, I normally put 16. And then it calculated it and then that's gonna be a shipping fee now depending on the size like for my t-shirts my t-shirt would be nine and eight so obviously that's gonna be a lot cheaper because of the dimensions and such and again my t-shirt my t-shirt weight is about eight ounces it's probably six or seven but let's go with that and then you're gonna see the shipping goes down so we're gonna let's just stick with that because it's a t-shirt you guys it's a t-shirt so we're gonna stick with that okay all right so now we're gonna come down here oh let's see if i can get that all right, so this is the end of your product uh, edition, I guess, or your product form. There's nothing else left for you to add. So usually over here, it will give you suggestions on what you need to do to improve your products or to improve your listing. So you can click on it and see. It says the spelling. So let's go right here and do that. Right here, and then we can do that. And then yeah so those are the only two things i wanted it to update but it did not so but we know we fixed it so those are the only two things it didn't tell you that anything else is missing so that's how you know you're good to go and then you can go ahead and do submit for review oh so it's telling you that the description formatting so that's another thing so let's go back to edit again i usually don't <laughs> change this but tiktok likes when your descriptions are like formatted like in a way that's easier for the customer to read so like who's gonna sit and read all of this like this right so that's that's basically what they're telling you you need to format it better but sometimes i leave it however and just keep going i don't care but yeah, we're going to do submit for review and it's going to send it to TikTok and let TikTok know that, hey, I have a product that I want to list. Please review it. And then once TikTok reviews it, it's going to come up in your products list. So you just hit manage listing. And then here it is. It says suspended right here. Let me see if you guys can see that. Hold on. Okay, guys, so it says suspended right here. However, that's just because they're reviewing it. As you can see underneath, it says reviewing. Now, in my experience, TikTok shop usually takes about two to five minutes to review your product. And once you refresh it, then it's usually, it usually will say active right here. And then you'll be good to go. Your product will be live. So, yeah. Okay, you guys. So, here you go. So, they've approved it. it. Took them maybe about two minutes or so. So, as you can see, here's our t-shirt um, that we did. So, Easter Bunny t-shirt. And it tells you we have um, 40 variants, the price, and it tells you that it's active. So yeah, you guys, that is uh, that is how you add a product to your TikTok shop. And I really hope this was helpful. And yeah, just like that. <laughs> but all right, you guys, that is the end of this week's vlog. I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. And I hope that you guys learned something. And yeah, you guys, do not forget to like my video comment down below and hit that subscribe button okay do not watch and not hit the subscribe button all right
and if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i'll do my best to get to them as soon as i can all right you guys i'm out of here peace out bye <laughs>